When your team is ready to get materials, you have your bowl clip at your desk, you have your measuring tool at your desk, you have your tape at your desk. The only thing you need is your materials. Send one person over for your canopy material. One person. Okay, now let's fold. Let's fold it like a blanket. Oh. 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 Okay, I want to be marker. <laughs> you can be cutter and taper. The radius is seven. Yes, so we're going to have to do it every seven. Here. Next to roller mover. No. Yes. Chicken. Open sesame. Yeah. Remember when you tape the suspension lines to tape them inside the parachute and you have a little tab on the outside for dropping. <laughs> Open your book to the create page, please. Parachutes down. Look at the create page of your um, parachute. Julia, what do, you, what do you guys have for a packing score? 133. 133. 128. Good. 145. 105. 105. 105. 105. 105. 105. 105. 105. 105. 105. 105. 105. 105. 105. 105. 105. 105. Tenth of a second. So if it's 3.27, what would we round that to? To the nearest tenth of a second. Nor? Three. Three. Three point three. Okay, got it? To the nearest tenth of a second. One, two, two, three, drop. Oh, Everyone stay. Four point five eight. So that is what? Four point six. Good. One, two, three, drop. Oh. Oh. My God. Six point one five. Ready? One, two, three, drop. Two point eight one. Thomas, what do you think the problem is? Canopy might be too small. Okay. All right, let's take all this data back into the classroom. Now that you have your three pieces of data, what you want to do is add them together, divide by three to get the mean to the nearest tenth. Okay. Did you get an average? Yeah. That's it. That's the mean? Okay, so now 15 divided by that. I'm going to give you a calculator. Yeah, then you got to learn from the nearest tenth. Nearest tenth. 2.58620. You're not going to fit that in that little box. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> nearest tenth. Round it to the nearest tenth. All right. It's 2.6. Yep. Time for the Okay, you all found the mean. So now you take 15 and you divide 15 by the mean. Well, that's a little tricky for you because you're not there yet mathematically. That's why you have a calculator. Before you improve, let's share our data with one another. Do you, did all of the parachutes shoots fall the same way? No. Did, were some slower than others? Let's think about why. Let's try to think about why before you start to improve your parachute design. Okay? So. I want you to look at your data, and this is the two things I want you to think about. Number one, what is the average drop speed? So let's talk about the average drop speed. Does everybody understand what that actually means? How about this? Anybody understand what that means? Julia. I think that's just telling you for how many feet you went per second. Yes. How many feet in every second? Number two, the canopy diameter. If my radius was seven, what was my diameter? 
Doa. 14. 14. And number three, what was your team's suspension line length? I want to know this, the suspension line length. Got that? Three things. Average drop speed, diameter of your canopy, and suspension line length. I'll give you 10 seconds to talk to your team and pick one person to share out with me. Uh, team one, average drop speed. 2.7. 2 .7. Ooh, is that good? Look at this. I thought that was good. That's better than that. What was your canopy diameter? 14 inches, and your suspension line length, 21. <laughs> All right, I want you to look at this. Can everybody see the data? Yeah. All right, look at it for one minute, and I want you to talk about, with your team, is there any connection or correlation between these two things and this? So look at it for a minute and then have a conversation at your group. Do you think there's any connection between them? Yeah. So these were the slow, would we agree that these two were the, slow, uh, the faster ones? That they need the most improvement? Okay, how can we compare these to the other ones? Anything you noticed? Noor. I noticed that the people who had sh shorter suspension lines and bigger canopies had um, lower uh, average drop speed. Okay. Okay, my friends, right now you're working on an improved design. Here's what you need to do. Turn to your page that says improve. You guys have to discuss and agree on how you will improve your parachute. Will you change suspension line length? Will you change diameter? What will you do? How will you attack this? Think about the things we just noticed. Talk to your team. Um, record how you will improve it. Make sure you have a drawing with everything labeled before you can rebuild. Don't forget the data you have. You have to find out if you are uh, mission ready. Do you remember that? You can't just change everything and not know if you've met the criteria. Go back to your original plan and look at your mission ready page, area of canopy and suspension line lengths times four. Make sense? Once you are do absolutely sure that you're ready to build it, you may get materials and start building again. That's how big the radius is going to be. Um, the canopy was uh, smaller and the string was bigger, so now we made it the canopy bigger and the string was smaller. It could be so unfair. The, um, you get to keep the 18 and the 16 were good for the um, drop. So we're thinking about um, make, making it about in the middle of that size. And we, the suspension line was 13, and we're just going to do 13.5 right now. Okay, Vivian, are you ready? One, two, three, drop. Oh, wow. Oh my gosh! Wait, I gotta put the glasses on. Six point six six. One, two, three, drop. Six point two two. One, two, three, drop. Oh, nice. Back up, back up, back up! 6.56! Round to two? 6.6! These are awesome. All right, let's see if, we've in, if we did improve. If we did, in fact, improve. All pencils down, all calculators down, all eyes up here. All right, team one, what I'm going to ask you is your new data, okay? Everybody look at your data make, right now. Ten seconds to look at your data. I'm going to ask you your new numbers, and I'm just going to put them right with them. Right now. Ten seconds. All right, team one, what is your average drop speed? 2.8. 2.8. Is this better? No. <laughs> is it still pretty good? It is really good. What's your diameter? Uh, 16 inches and 15 inches. 
15. This team, six. Okay, um, for the average drop speed, we got um, 2.3. Wow. Um, we got the <coughs> diameter was 17. And the suspension lines was 13.5. Improved? Nice job. You guys are like professional aerospace engineers. You should just go get a job. Do you notice that the canopy and the suspension lines are a little bit closer, a little bit closer in range than the original ones, which made them, I think, contributed to um, the growth, the improvement. Yes. How does number four and number eight have the same thing, but they have different drops? Four and eight have the same what? Oh, same this? Yeah. Okay, and different drops? Nathan makes a good point. You would think it would be the same. How would we get data to be really, really close? Close to what we Keep think. <laughs> over and over and over and over. Test and test and test. So round of applause for everyone. You did a fantastic job. Aerospace engineers. The one thing um, about measuring, I think it's important for kids to measure a lot. It's really hard in elementary school to teach measurement because they're not out there really physically doing measuring things. You do it here and you learn it there in conversions for this, but really using that tool, that's time consuming. This is an opportunity to use those tools to measure. For example, when I have them measure the suspension line lengths, I have them tape the measuring tape right to the desk. Tape it on, one person hold it, actually start at the zero point, not at the one, you know, those things that it's hard for elementary kids to, to really get a handle on. Be accurate about your data. Be accurate about measuring because they don't have a lot of opportunities to do that. And I think this, these lessons, especially this one, gives them a great, great way to use measuring tools that they wouldn't have had otherwise. Mm -hmm.